I don't know how any kind of wall could still be in your way. And if you feel like you still got walls, it's because really, you probably get more excited for worldly event than, than this Come godly on. encounter. Boy, Come the Spirit on, of God is just Come flowing on. On, in this place. And then I know, Shalita, that when my praise goes up, his presence comes down. And Jesus said, now is a time that God the Father is, is looking for those that worship him in spirit and in truth. He said, if I don't praise him, rocks are going to cry out. I got, to, I, I got to praise him. He said, shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. I mean, if, I can guarantee you when them Patriot fans won the Super Bowl, what? I guarantee you when those Patriot fans won the Super Bowl, there was not one quiet one. I guarantee you there was one Patriot fan. We won. You just got the victory over death, over sin, over the devil. I'm wondering, are you a Jesus fan or not? I mean, are you a Jesus fan or are you really on the other team? I don't know. I don't know. That's just me. I apologize. If I, if I demons, demons tremble at the name. Jesus. Y'all were shouting, Jesus. 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 Every demon man that had been sent to vex you got punked out. Some of you. Some of you. Let me look, split the split right here. That's good. Right there, Mirror. Where you ask? Let me hear this side. Jesus! 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 I think I think they got y'all. Father, we thank you, Lord, for tonight. Look, Father, we thank you for tonight. And, Lord, we're not trying to have no pep rally. We're just rejoicing in what your son paid for us. We're rejoicing because we believe and we receive by faith that we have the victory over death, over sin, over anything that will try to come against our life. And this is the victory. Glory to God that we have over this whole world our faith in Jesus Christ. And Lord, we, 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 we praise you. We, we, we shout about you. We glorify you. We dance about you. Lord, everything right now is just for you. Lord, just like King David. Oh, and God, he said, I'll, I'll, I'll praise you even more. Glory to God, Father, we praise you. All this is for you, Lord. We praise you. I thank you because I know when I praise you, your presence, your, even though you're always around, you manifest your presence. That miracles will happen. Signs will happen. Wonders will happen. Father, you manifest your presence. You manifest your power. You manifest your spirit. Demons, my God, got to go. Addictions got to go. Ah, oh, glory to God. Sickness and disease has to go. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, Robo Shundo. We praise you. Oh, Robo Shundo. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, Robo Shundo, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for tonight. Holy Spirit, just guide me. Guide me, guide me, guide me. You know, I, I, I came prepared, but I know you're changing up. You're changing up the play. You're calling Omaha. You're changing some stuff. And, Lord, I, I, I trust you. I trust you. I thank you that every person, Lord, they'll leave here with, with a word. They'll leave here with some direction, some instruction, Lord. 
Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Have your way. Have your way, Father. I yield. I yield to you. I yield. I yield to you. I yield. I yield to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, everybody say that. I yield to you, Father. I yield to you. Come on, I yield, I yield, I yield. I'll tell, come on, I, I yield, I yield. Glory to God, I yield to you. I yield. I yield, Lord. I yield. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I yield. I deny myself. I disown myself. Right now, all my feelings. Come on, come on. Even, even if you just got mad, come on, deny that. Deny, I deny that. Come on, come on. Even if you're offended, I deny that. Come on, even if you're, even if you oh, no, no, even if, oh, I deny that. I disown that right now. I humble myself. I humble myself. Glory to God. Oh, Jesus. Come on, say that. I humble myself. I'm ready to receive, Lord. Your word. Have your perfect work in me. I'm out the way. Do what you need to do. In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name. All right, everyone say amen. amen. I want you to, I need to share some things with you concerning the word. Uh, listen, listen, real quick. If this is your first time here at Faith Christian Fellowship, because I don't know what's going to happen, so let me get this, uh, not in a rude sense, but I need to get this out the way, because I want to make sure we honor all our guests, all our first-time guests, all those watching on internet, all my, my undercover followers, I, I, I bless you. In the name of Jesus. No, I found I got some undercover followers. It's okay. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Just you can go to fcfplainview.org, sow your seed. All right. Uh, if this is your first time at Faith Christian Fellowship, will you raise your hand? We got a gift for you. First time guest. Come on. So, when, so Tuesday morning we have what we call corporate prayer in the sanctuary at 6 a.m. And a lot of times you have to understand. Uh, we, we know some of you can't make it, but you got to understand when we're here, we're interceding first and foremost for you, uh, for this, for this uh, uh, household of faith, uh, for this garden, for this, you see what I'm saying, this set place. And because as, as, as overseers, my wife and I are responsible, and then he's given us a group of people because we, there's no way we could do this by ourselves, and we're blessed with many, many people that, that serve and, and, and help in the kingdom of God. And so we, they come and they come in agreement. We're two or three in agreement. Huh? One put 1,000 to flight, two put 10,000, three put 100,000, four put them. Come on, we, we're moving some things in the spirit realm. Amen. And this Tuesday, as the spirit was flowing, a word came. And, and then I, right this morning when I got here, I got a phone call. I love these phone calls. These are my favorite phone calls. Pastor, I got a praise report. Glory to God. Before I give you the praise report, let me, when I hung up, I was just rejoicing with him so much. Holy Spirit said, that's from that open heaven. And so there was a word Tuesday, and he said, the heavens are open. I See, I know you, I want you to say, the heavens are open. Now, that's like the lid is off the cookie jar. I don't see, I don't know if you know. When the heavens is open, it's like the lid is off the cookie jar. Go ahead, son. What do you need? And the heavens are open, Elder John. Come on, I want y'all, can y'all praise God for your heaven being open right now? Thank you, Father. The heavens are open over my life. The heaven is open over my family. The heavens are open over my children. The, what, what do your kids need? What do you need? What does, come on, it's a rod of favor just released right now. Come on, what, your body, your, your finances, what, I don't know, I mean, I don't know. Because I'm fixing to tell you, the, the, it's already flowing. Come on, what deliverance, what rescuing do you need right now? Thus say the Lord, the heavens are open. Now, that's like the gate of the city being open. Now, I got a phone call from one of our uh, members that uh, live out of town. Uh, Pastor. Yeah, I, got, I said, man, talk to me. He went through the, go ahead, can I turn off the fans now? 
Let's turn off the fan. I'm cold, man. <laughs> the, uh, the fans, <laughs> not the fans. He said, he said, whenever we bought this house, we bought, we had to take out from my wife's retirement for the down payment and stuff, and they've been working on putting it back. And he said, before my wife ever buys anything, she checks her account. She checks her account. Are y'all ready for this? I said, are y'all ready for this? He said, man, she checks her account. And she called me screaming. He said, it almost went crazy because I'm like, hey, tell me what's wrong. You know, imagine you're working out of town. Your wife call you hysterical. Girl, shut your mouth. Tell me what's the matter. She said, babe. There is $3,710 in our account. I don't know how I got there. So she, come on, she called the bank. She said, hey, this money's in my account. You know, I mean, and, and, and the first thing I asked him, is it, has it posted? He said, yes. It's, the, it's in there. It's the, the, there's, I said, where did it come from? So he's telling me the whole story. Long story short, they told him, look. They told her, look, just make sure you claim it at the end of the year. They said, just make sure you claim that uh, at the end of the year, but it's yours. Somebody. That's no, that's not income tax refund. That's not. That's three thousand seven hundred ten dollars. Just claim it at the end of the year. Listen, you are, uh, God said that's from that open heaven. Amen. There's an open heaven. Amen. I receive. Thank you, Lord. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. All right, now, now this next one, uh, I want to give you this word. And before I do, Holy Spirit pressed on me to teach on this real quick. I'm not going to teach long on this, but I'm just being obedient. But... You need to have, a, and, and, and I have to be the master of repetition. But even though it's going to be repetitive, what you're about to hear is going to be so fresh. Come on. Huh? Amen. You be, you've eaten ribeyes more than once. Amen. But every time you eat it, you're like, oh, that's the best thing I ever ate. <laughs> you, just, you said that about the last time you ate it. And so, and so I want to give you this because you need to have an understanding of, of this gift of praying in other tongues, yes. okay? And, and the apostle Paul said, I wish you prayed in tongues uh, more than me. Yes. Now, you got to understand, there's, two, there, there, there's the evidence of tongues that's filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Then there's the gift of tongue. That's the gift like uh, uh, Miss uh, Lori. Y'all give it up for Rev, man. He's He's listening. He preached when, last Wednesday. He taught. Powerful, man. Powerful message. Powerful. And, uh, and so his wife, she has a gift of tongue. That in, in the service, you just hear, you know, you know she's a quiet woman. Uh, but then that gift starts flowing. And the interpretation flow. So that's, that's the gift. But then there's the evidence. Okay. Now, what I'm talking about right now is the evidence of speaking in another tongue, okay? And before I give you the word that came from that, that, that you're going to need for this that I'm about to tell you, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14. I'm not going to stay here long unless the Holy Spirit, I, 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 just, I just have to, I have to give this to you because you need this. You need because some some of y'all have been taught you don't need it or that's not no no I need this. That's the evidence. If you go to the book of Acts, the Bible says, and they were filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. He said because meaning this is the reason they spoke with other tongues. So the way the evidence they knew they're filled with power, tongue. Harabakaya, amen. Now. You have people teach this stuff wrong, saying, oh, well, you know, you can't do that in church. Who, that ain't even what the Bible said. Yeah, you see, you ain't even reading the Bible right. 
He said, but because, because, let, let me just, let me go through it. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Uh, verse 2. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not to men, but he's speaking to? God. Who's he speaking to? God. You gonna tell me on, not to talk to God? But now I'm not going to stand up here and preach to you in my tongue. I ain't going to be up here somewhere. Oh, Rabakaya, Harabashondo, Dorabako. She's like, man, the pastor done lost his mind. All my first time guests are like, man, I ain't coming here. This is crazy. You see what I'm saying? No, he said, because, watch, look, 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 look what he said. For no man understands them, how be it the spirit, uh, how be it in the spirit, but in the spirit, see, in the spirit realm, he's speaking mysteries. But in the sea, but in the spirit, I speak in mysteries. Okay, okay, now watch this. But he that prophesies speaketh to men. He that speaks the word, prophesies, what? And edifies and exhorts and comforts them. Listen, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies himself. When I pray in tongues, I'm building up myself, I'm edifying. Building me up. So I need to be built up. So I need to pray in tongues. And so I pray in tongues. When I pray in tongues, I'm building myself up. Now, when it's the gift, it flows at a special moment. And then an interpretation comes. But when it's, it, when it's just, when, when, you, when you're, I'm, I, I, don't get offended. I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking to God. And God, in turn, is building me up. And so if you don't have this gift, I may take a pause to get you filled with those. Spirit. All you got to do is believe. Amen. Then when the elders laid hands on them, they received. Amen. And now watch this. Now watch this. So, so just, just uh, for the sake of time, verse 14. So look what he, he goes through the whole uh, kind of spill of things. Look at that chapter for yourself. But, I, I, but I'm going to verse 14. Did, boy, did y'all feel that bass bumping right there? Yeah. Caleb? Boy, that thing was like, woo, woo. Man, that thing was on. Glory to God. That's why I stood right there. I just wanted to feel it. Uh, <laughs> y'all remember that? We like the cars. The cars that go boom. I, I like that boom. <laughs> I got munchies for the bass. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all remember that song? Yeah. Huh? Some of y'all are too young for that. I don't even remember. I got the munchies for your bass. I want you. I can't do all that high, baby. <laughs> and so, so I done took y'all back. I done took y'all. Yeah, you <laughs> okay, so, so verse 14, uh, uh, verse 14 says, so if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit's praying. Glory to God. My spirit is praying. But my understanding, it's unfruitful. Yeah. What is it then? So in other words, say, okay, so what's the outcome? What's the outcome of all this? He said, okay, let, let me tell you what the outcome is. I'll pray in the spirit, and I'll pray with understanding. In other words, I'll pray in my tongue, and I'll pray in English, or Spanish, or whatever language you speak. I'll pray in the spirit. And I'm going to pray in English. Look what he said. Look what he said. I will. I will. That's what I'm trying to get to tonight. I will. I will. With the spirit. I will sing. Have you ever sung in tongue? Boy. I will talk about that in a second. But remember the Bible says sing to the Lord a new song. Praying in the spirit. Now, watch this. And I'll sing with understanding. I'm going to sing in English, too. Or in Spanish. I'll sing whatever language. You see what I'm saying? Whatever language you understand, I'm, that's, that's understanding. And then look at the next verse. <clears throat> Else when, I, when you bless with the spirit, in other words, so you try to bless someone praying in tongue, that's what in the spirit means in, in your language, in your tongue. How then... He that occupies the room is going to, 
occupy the room of the unlearned. How's he going to say amen if he don't understand what you're praying? You're trying to pray over him. You come to the altar, Brandy, and I was, I'm going to pray for you. And I pray to her. I walk away. She's like, man, I just, how can I say amen to that? I don't even know what you prayed, Pastor. I don't even know you prayed, uh, uh, co-pastor. How am I supposed to say amen? You see? So, at thy giving of thanks, seeing that he understandeth not what you hear. But now, listen, listen, listen. Verse 17. But, but for thou verily givest thanks well. Another thing about when you pray in tongues, you give thanks. There is thanksgiving in your praying in tongues. There is, th you give thanks well. When you pray in tongues, when you pray in the spirit, you are, you, there is also a giving of thanks that takes place in there. But the other person isn't edified. You're edified, but they're not edified. So this edification, this building up is for who? It's for you. Okay. Look what he said. I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than all y'all. Apostle Paul being who he was. He said, well, I thank God I pray in tongues more than all of y'all. That's an example I need to follow. Amen. Amen. Huh? Now watch this. Now, as we, were, as, we were, as we were here, the Holy Spirit said, sing in tongues. And we all just, just with, with a little, uh, little flow, Stella, just a little, harabak, uh, however, you know, just a, a melody. But in tongues. All of a sudden, Shane, a peace hit this room. Almost immediately, oh, y'all in here, if you, you, you had to be in here to experience, almost, it went, I, I rewatched it on Periscope, uh, Joe Beater, and it hit me right away again. I said, oh my goodness, this is from God. And, and listen, 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 every once in a while, I would like for you to sing in tongues when you're in your secret place praying, seeking God, just, harabakaya. Oh, Mark, my wife said, my wife was over here just bawling like a baby. She said, I felt like somebody wrapped me up in a blanket. And, and then all of a sudden, a rocking began to happen, and then the word flowed. And here's what the word says, and this is for you. That's why I'm giving it, because this, this word is not just for us in prayer, because we're here praying for you. And so this word is for you. Comfort shall come into your life. Peace shall come into your life. But comfort is going to come in your life as a mother comforts her crying baby and sings the baby to sleep. Sings peace. She sings comfort into his life. Comfort is about to flood your life. Peace is about to flood your life. As a mother comforts her child and sings the baby to sleep, my comfort, the comfort of my Holy Spirit will come and bring peace to your life. All of your tears from all distress, all of your tears from all the discouragement is going to rock its way out of your life, thus saith the Lord. My God. And a few of the people... He in here, ministers, Peter, so, uh, uh, I think you'll be, they felt a rocking sensation. They said, I don't know. I always ask them, what did you see? What did you feel? What, 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 what did you hear? And the oh, feel was a rocking. No. Would you like that one more time? Because y'all feel that? And so what I want you to do, that, 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 that's, that's a word of wisdom. Yeah. That when you sing in the spirit, God. The Holy Ghost is going to rock all that distress out of your life. All of that discouragement out of your life. How do you know? Because he just said, when I sing in the Spirit, I edify, build myself up. So if I'm being built up, some stuff is being left behind. Some, love, some stuff is being taken away because I'm being built up. It's a lack of doing this is what's keeping you in the same spot. Amen. Comfort shall come into your life. Peace shall come into your life. But comfort is going to come into your life 
as a mother comforts a crying baby and sings the baby to sleep. She sings peace and comfort into his life. Comfort is about to flood your life. Peace is about to flood your life as a mother comforts a child and sings the baby to sleep. So my comfort, the comfort of my Holy Spirit, will come and bring peace to your life. And all of your tears from all the distress, all the, dis all the tears from all the discouragement is going to rock its way out of your life. Thus saith the Lord. Come on, lift your hand and give God praise for a second. Thank you. How did I buy? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus. My God. Oh, I, I, I sense his presence right now. I sense his presence right now. Oh, Robo Shundo. I sense his presence right now. I sense his presence right now. Oh, Robo Shundo. Glory to God. Ha, Rabakoya. Now, if you are not filled with the evidence of the Holy Spirit of praying in other tongues, and you want to be filled, you believe. Now, listen, listen, listen. This, let, let me tell you what I'm here for right now, this, this evening. This, this evening, I got it written down. This evening, listen, listen, listen. You that are hungry, you will be fed. You that are thirsty, you're going to drink. But those that came to spectate and criticize, may the encounter of Jesus May you encounter Jesus as Paul did uh, on the road to Damascus. Glory to God. And so now if you're here this evening and you've never been filled with the evidence of praying in other tongues, I got filled, I got filled in, 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 in her apartment. I came under a demonic attack that demons trying to get, I mean, I'm, I'm talking real. This, this ain't no dream. I'm talking the walls shaking. The, 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 the mirrors, all the stuff on there rattling, the bed going crazy. She didn't feel nothing. But I knew, I knew, I knew what it was. And at that moment, I just started praying. There was no fear. I just started praying. And the Spirit of the Lord came on me. I began to pray when I got filled with the evidence. But at the same time, in the Word, he said, when the elders laid hands on they got filled. If you, if you don't have this gift, and you want it, you believe, you, you, you're saved, Jesus Christ is your Savior, the next thing, you need to be filled with evidence, baptized with the power of the Holy Ghost, and pray in other tongues. If that's you, I want you to come up. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, we're going to get you filled right now. If you move right now, if not, that way I can, I can move on with the service. Oh, Robo Shundo, glory to God. Glory to God. Ha, Rabba Shundo, glory to God. Glory to God. My goodness. All right. Okay, let's move on. That, see, that, see, you got to understand, that gift's for you. I already got mine. That's why can't nothing hold me down. Because I'm filled with power. That's why I ain't ever on no roller coaster. Because I'm filled with power. That don't mean I don't go through stuff, Dad. I go through stuff constantly, but I overcome. Yeah. Amen? I overcome. All right? You may be seated. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. So, uh, no, there's something else. God gave me, uh, my wife didn't know. I was awake too, praying. Uh, our our five-year-old, I got to find a way to get him out the bed. Oh, he's six? He's six. I don't want him to get older, man. I want him to stay my baby. You know what I'm talking about, Ezra? Like, no, man, you don't, you don't want to get older. I'm fixing to kick one out the house. <laughs> and then now I'm not, I'm not trying to. And so uh, if, if he moves, he feel, he'll feel in the bed. That dude will just, shh, he'll go wild, man. So uh, I was going to get up, and he, his arm just reached out. So I said, okay, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to have to, to, to pray right here. So as I was praying, Holy Spirit pressed on me on some things. And, and <clears throat> how many of us believe in the power of prayer? Yes. The power of prayer. Yes. Now, many of us believe in the power of prayer, but how come we're not praying as much? Yeah, no one said, A amen. amen. Talk to me. Huh? Amen. Now, 
This is what the Holy Ghost gave me to share with you. Go to James chapter 5. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be long. Uh, I felt led on some other instructions on that relief, so I'm, I'm probably just going to pass it out here during the service, just so you know. James 5, that's accountability. I got to be accountable too. James 5, you know, accountability is good. Keeps you from getting in trouble. Where's James? Where's James? After Hebrews? There it is. James chapter 5. Um, confess your faults to one another. Now here's what I want to focus on. And pray, for, come on, say pray for one another. That you may be healed. Okay, you don't have to repeat anymore. The effectual, the effect, effectual, am I saying that right? Effect, effectual? Am I saying that right, Randy? Effectual? Effect, but it don't look like it. Effectual. Now I got you all messed up now. Pastor, you're supposed to be helping us. Now I don't even know how to say Effectual. The, that the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Now, the prayer, pray for one another because the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man, what does it do? It avails much. It, okay, now... I just, I got to be real. This didn't say the prayer of any person. Miss Cindy, this didn't say the prayer of anybody. But the effectual, I mean fervent, this, I mean fervent, real, sincere, I mean just, this prayer is aimed. It's not just of a righteous person. It avails, Dylan. It prevails, Dylan. It overcometh. It goes with much force. My God. Amen. Somebody say much force. It, it, another word, it, me, it means it has much force, having much force over much. <laughs> Y'all ain't. Having much force over much. Having much force over much. So, so the, the prayer of a righteous man, it, it, it has a lot of force over a lot of stuff. So, a lot, but, but now understand, watch this. This is, who's he talking to? He's talking to a believer with another believer. A believer going to somebody that's maybe more grounded, that's maybe further along in the spirit than they are. Huh? They walk in righteous. Talk to me, somebody. They, I said they walk in righteous. Watch this. Listen, listen, listen. So now... Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me talk. I got to talk to both sides. I got to talk to the believer that needs prayer, and I got to talk to the believer that needs to be praying, okay, for another believer that may be battling mentally with sin. Got some faults in his life. And is not too prideful to admit it. The Bible says he who conceals sin will not prosper. Y'all better talk to me. The Bible says, he who conceals, just trying to hide it. He said, you ain't never going to prosper, man. You ain't never going to break out. Amen. 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 So, so, that's not me. That's Bible. But because it's Bible, that's me. <laughs> because the word has to abide in me. Okay, let me, let me move on. And so, and so, Leah, and so, and so, that believer... 
that's, that has a false and not, not too proud to say, hey, will you pray for me? Yes. We got to not be so prideful or embarrassed or let the enemy shame us and say, man, hey, will you pray for me? This man, when, when, he, was, when he was in, in the serenity home, what were you bound with at that time? Ice, meth, drinking, I mean, just... I remember, and, 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 I, and, and, and he just latched on to me. And Leah, every time I drop him off, Pastor, will you pray for me? Absolutely. Before, because he was from Lubbock, before he would go to Lubbock, Pastor, I'm on my way, my Lubbock, on my way to Lubbock, will you pray for me? Because I know where I got to go. I know who I got to go get around. I mean, I mean, I think I pray for him like four or five times a week, if not more. Can I tell you something? Those prayers availed much. But see, I need you to get your eyes off of me. I need you to see you, that your prayers should be, are supposed to be availing much. I'm one man, but if we can multiply into you, into you, into how many more, how many more oppressions will we be able to avail? Because you prayed, Caleb. Are y'all hearing me? The prayers you see, well, oh well, if Jesus wants him free, he'll be free. No, but Jesus turned this whole thing over to you. Jesus turned this whole thing over to you and me. And he even told God, the glory you gave me, I gave it to them. The assignment you gave me, I gave it to them. And so if you don't, we are the body of Christ. If we don't do it, nobody's going to do it. The devil going to keep doing what he want to do in people's life. Amen. Come on, say, my prayers prayers. will avail much. So... So let, let me talk to you real quick. You that are now, let me talk to you that are more spiritually grounded. Okay? I want to challenge you to pray for the believer before they leave your presence. Whether they're on the phone or whether, or whether they're rolling with you and you drop them off or they drop you off. Just stop. Say, Louis, uh, let me pray for you real quick, right, bro? Even if they don't got to ask, I'm going to pray for you. Anything you're dealing with? Anything you're going through? No, okay, well, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to bless you. In the name of Jesus. I come against anything that's coming against my brother, Lord. Lord, you, 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 you know his heart right now. I bless him. I come against anything that would try to, to, to de- uh, uh, defeat him, try to come against him. I plead the blood. And right now, I lease your blessing over his life. Favor. Surround him like a shield. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You don't got to preach. Pray. You don't got to teach. Pray. Pray. Amen. He said the prayer. He said the prayer. He said you that that you're battling with some faults. You're battling with some weakness. Be real. We just got to be real. Got to be open. Don't try to hide nothing. We ain't here to judge you. But see, my, I can be more fervent if I know what I'm looking at through my scope. What am I trying to hit? I can call it out by its name. And it has to bow down to the name of Jesus. See how you... I can be a little bit more fervent if I know. God will still move and do some things, you know, Aaron. But we... we, we we've... Amen. Amen. And your, your prayers are powerful, Vanessa. That's why the devil don't want us praying for one another. Let's just pretend like everybody's perfect. Come on, man. Let's pretend like we ain't no one going through nothing. Let's pretend like don't know one of us got some faults. We got to, you know, put up a front. Come on, take the mask off. Just be real. Be honest with God. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with others. Amen? Come over here, Lupe. Come on, someone say be honest with God. Be honest with God. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with, yourself. Be honest with, others. Be honest with others. Amen. I bless you, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I said, be honest with God. Be honest with others. God ain't shocked by your sin. You ain't about to shock God. Like, oh, no, mijo. He knows. He was there when you did it. ¿Qué le voy a decir a Dios? What do you mean? What are you going to tell him? He saw. He saw the whole thing. I received. He saw the whole thing. There's nothing to, what are you worried about? Be real. Be, be honest. Be open. Lord, I need your help. And then watch. When your brother going to call? Hey, girl, girl, how you doing? Oh, I'm good, girl. You just told God. And now you just lied. Huh? Just be, because the Bible says he who conceals it, you're not going to break out. You're not going to move from point to the point in life you're at to another point. You're going to be in a vicious circle. But you know why we'll lie? Because I got to save face. Reputation. What are they going to think of me? Are, y'all get, are you getting this? Amen. Is this helping anybody? I received, son. I said, is this helping anybody? So, see, listen. See, pride says, uh, nah, I'm, uh, I'll be okay by myself. Nah, I'll be okay. I don't even want to pray for me. That's pride. Pride comes before fall. Pride comes before. See, after pride, then comes a fall. No, come on. Just come on. I mean, we... Amen? So, so my next question real quick is, who do you call? I, this, this, I was not going to preach this. God gave this to me this morning in prayer. Okay, I got, I, th- that paper, that was my preaching. But we ain't going to get to it. I got seven minutes left. Is this helping anybody? Amen. Are you sure? Amen. Okay. <laughs> okay. So... So then who do you call for prayer? Will you ask for prayer? Amen? Amen. But now I want to talk to you because someone's going to call you. You got to, this is why it's so important. I've got to protect my witness. Because no matter what, your life is sowing seeds into somebody else. I'm going to show you what I mean. Y'all say this. My life, I receive son. Say that my life, my life is sowing seeds, is sowing seeds into, somebody else. into somebody else. I'm going to show you something I've never seen until yesterday. Go to Galatians. Go to Galatians. Is that, what is that? Galatas? Huh? Galatas? Like chanclas. <laughs> Come on, go to Galatas. Galatians, chapter 2. <laughs> go to Galatians. I got to try to make y'all laugh a little bit. Y'all look. <laughs> huh? Galatians, chapter 2. Put that in your purse, Miss Twyla. No, you receive. You thank God. Don't thank me. Thank God. I don't want no credit. Give it to God. You just say, sir, I receive. And then, Lord, thank you. Amen? Amen. I know it's a polite thing to do. I understand that. I understand. We got to teach that some of our younger generation. Say thank you. There you go. I knew you could do it. Okay, let's move on. So, so Galatians chapter 2, verse 13. I don't have my Bible, so you read it. Gal- See, you ain't even listening. Oh, Galatians chapter 2, verse 13. 
Okay, l read a little bit and let me finish, and then you read, then I'll read so they can hear on the mic, because you don't have a mic and I do. Go ahead. Oh, you don't have your glasses. The other Jews assembled dissembled likewise with him in so much that Barnabas also was carried away with their hypocrisy dissimulation which is hypocrisy so the apostle Paul right here Shane is talking about Peter who he had to correct the apostle Paul had to come and correct Peter because Peter Messing up a little bit. Now the Apostle Paul had to come correct Peter. And then what did he say? Likewise. What? <coughs> Give me to me again. <coughs> That's fine. As a result, As a result other, Jewish believers, other Jewish believers followed Peter's hypocrisy. And even, now listen, this, this is why he's, look at this as he said, even Barnabas. I'm going to show you why in a minute. Even Barnabas was led astray by their hypocrisy, by their double standard, by their compromising. The reason he's kind of even Barnabas. You see, Barnabas is the one that took Paul under his wing. When Paul first, when Paul, who was once Saul, and used to persecute Christians and dust and kill them, well, then he gets saved, and then he comes. God sends him to, the, to all the other apostles uh, that walked with Jesus and the other ones that were saved, and they were all afraid of him. But Barnabas, Mr. Peter, took him under his wing. When he first came around them, I feel the Holy Ghost. This is the same man that took him under his wing and, like, mentored him. And now at that moment, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Can I talk to you? Are you ready for this? Shalita, at that moment, Barnabas was to the believers what Peter was to Jesus in that other one moment. What am I talking about? Jesus told Peter, get behind me, Satan. You're a stumbling block to me. At that moment, Barnabas had become a stumbling block to the other believers because he was following another leader's example. Come on, say this. I have to protect my witness. I got to protect my witness. I can't just... See right here, he said, look, bro, you're making them stumble. Now you're making them stumble. At that moment, he, a Barnabas, was to believers... What Peter was to Jesus in that one moment. He said, get behind me, Satan. You're a stumbling block. Barnabas, he said, even Barnabas. Now Barnabas, I remember he brought, took me under his wing. I remember he showed me how to praise. I remember he, he introduced me when I preached my first message. But see, we can never get so prideful and think, oh, that will never happen to me. Right. Every believer that failed had said that same statement. Right. Oh, I don't know that. Right. We've all said that. We got to be real. And that's why, okay, I don't want just anybody praying. I'm, I'm watching, you know, how are you living? How am I going to ask somebody that's a stumbling block to me to pray for me? I need someone that's walking real. I need somebody, you know, I want I, an example I can follow. Somebody that's real about this Jesus. Church, are y'all here? Are y'all still here? Are y'all still here? We got to protect our witness because, he, see, I want, there's back, back to that statement, and I'll close. See, at that moment, during them moments, Peter, who Barnabas obviously looked up to, Peter's life, his compromise, Randy, was sowing that seed into Barnabas. 
Barnabas watched. Barnabas followed suit. And now Barnabas is doing the same thing Peter was doing because he was receiving them seeds from Peter. But now somebody else is watching Barnabas. Who's watching you? Your son? Your daughter? Your friend? Maybe one of your brothers or sisters here in the church today. They're watching you. Are you that stumbling block that Peter was to Jesus, that Barnabas was to the believers? Are you going to sow seeds that are going to help tear that person down? Are you going to sow seeds to help build that person up? So come on, man. Let me pray with you. Let me encourage you. You're going to be all right. You're going to make it. Adam, Adam, you're going to make it. You're going to make it, man. It's going to be okay, Hope. But you got to keep your praise up. You have to keep your praise up. He was challenging them. Stop doing what you're doing. He, had to ch- he was telling pa- Barnabas and Peter, y'all quit doing what y'all doing. You're messing other people up. We gotta, there's some things in life we need to stop doing, some things we might be doing. Because you're not just messing you up. Your life is sowing a seed into somebody else. Come on, it's never, I promise, it's never... I'm just hurting me. No, baby. No. You're never, it's never just about you. This whole life is a connection life, man. Somebody's, I think it's, it's a, a John Maxwell that said a, a, an average person will influence, is it at least 10,000 people in his lifetime? You, the average person will influence at least 10,000 people in your lifetime. That means somebody was watching you and your life sowed a seed into them. What did you influence them to do? What direction, my God, what direction did you influence them to go? I feel the Holy Ghost, man. There's some things maybe in our life, just like, just like the Apostle Paul was talking, this is the person that the, 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 the gospel of grace came through. And he's telling Peter, he's telling Barnabas, guys, there's some things you're going to have to cut out of your life because you're messing some other believers up. It's about being real for what we say we believe here. It's just about being real for what we say we stand for. This, the, 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 during these times, this, this generation, man, they need real people. That their prayers get real results. Their prayers avail much. And that much that they may have been battling with, much that they may have been struggling with, after that person prays, much falls off of them. That's what Jesus, that's what the kingdom of God is in need of right now. Men like you, women like you, that when they pray for somebody, Amen. something happens. Amen. Something breaks. Yes. Something changes. They change, but I, I felt something. Amen. 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 I give you thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Oh, Robo Shondo. Glory to God. Oh, Robo Koya. Glory to God. Ah, glory. Help, Lord, help. Thank you for helping us. Oh, glory to God. Come on, every hand lift it up. Every hand lift it up. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every, 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 every sin, any fault that's been trying to sneak its way back in your life, that's been trying to snake its way back in your life. It's been, it started with thoughts first. It started with thoughts first. And it's, then now it's turned into something. It's turned into something that you didn't want it to turn into. Maybe it already turned to something you didn't want it to turn into. But right now, in the name of Jesus, through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, 
and in the name of Jesus, I, I declare and decree you are set free in Jesus' name. Every, everything begin to fall off your life that was sent from the devil to steal, kill, and destroy you, destroy your testimony, destroy your life, destroy your destiny. Right now, in Jesus' name, I cancel every plot of the devil in Jesus' name. Weakness turned to strength. All unstable ground becomes stable now. All foundations that have been shaky become firm now. In the name of Jesus. I call you strong. I call you blessed. I call you highly favored. May the rod of favor be restored over your life, over your family, over your finances, over your future. Now, in Jesus' name. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I pray all those that have been sent into your life from the enemy, that they've been sent to be a stumbling block, I pray that God expose them, reveal them, and remove them from your life. And may God replace them with people that love, that love you and care about you, that care about your walk with God, that care about your, your relationship with Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, may he re begin to replace some folk in your life. May he begin to replace some folk in your life. Replace some friends. Replace some friends. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you're here tonight and you've never received Jesus Christ as Lord of your life, whew, if you've never received Jesus as Lord of your life, you've never prayed that prayer, right there you at, Pastor, I, I want to pray that prayer. Would you pray with me? If you, if you would like for me to pray with you, that prayer of salvation, come on, there, there's no way to the Father except through him. If that's you and you want to pray that prayer, right there you at, Pastor, just lift your hand. Pastor, will you pray the prayer of salvation with me? If you would like for me to pray with you, my man, the leaders, my man. Now, maybe you've prayed that prayer before. Maybe you've prayed that prayer before, but maybe you went back. You went back to some old ways. You went back, you went back to some old things. And, and, and you want to rededicate. You, you re renew that relationship with Jesus Christ, with, with your Father through Jesus. If that's you and you need to rededicate your life, you would like to rededicate your life this very moment, I want you to lift your hand and say, Pastor, will you pray with me? Pastor, will you pray with me? Hallelujah. I want y'all to repeat this prayer to me. Father, forgive me for all my sins. I repent and I thank you that Jesus, your son, died for me to rescue me. And at this moment, I am redeemed from sin. I am rescued from the plans of the enemy. Thank you, Father. I'm delivered. I'm saved. I'm rescued because of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, right now. All right, y'all ready to give? Y'all ready to give? Let, let's bring our tithe, sow our seed with faith, love, and obedience. Is it? Ready to give? All right. Let's lift up our tithe, our offering. God is good. Father, I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done, everything you do. I thank you for what took place in this service tonight. The rawness, the sincerity. Lord, the charge, the blessings. Lord, I thank you for the things that happened that we didn't see, that happened in the spirit realm. I thank you for the testimonies that are going to come from this service. Your word says, signs will follow the word. They'll confirm it, confirm it. 
And Lord, I just, we, bring, we bring our tithe and our offering in honor and reverence of you. And just say, thank you, Lord, for everything you've done, everything you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Money just keeps on coming. Absolutely. All right. Tell two people the heavens open over your life and you are dismissed.